Moana is Saturday morning in my house. Look at this gorgeous Moana. I'm going to show you how I made it, all right? Moana is made of beans, all right? You could use any kind of beans, black eyed peas, honey beans, uh, northern beans, any kind of beans will do. Now, to make this, you would have to pre-soak that beans. It's a dry beans, as you know. Now, you pre-soak for 10 minutes. I buzz man through food processor and wash till the peels are off, as you can see. I'm pouring it into the blender. I also just poured about a cup of water or half a cup. So that's Vidalia onions that I've chopped, supporting my local farmers here. And that's roasted red bell peppers that are cut in strips. One habanero because the kids are eating. Gotta be careful, right? All right, salt to taste. And I'm adding about half a teaspoon. Be careful. Beans and sodium, not good friends. I'm also adding dry crayfish. All right, dry crayfish is, is basically smoked uh, shrimps. All right, two sprigs of thyme, part of butter, and more water because you got to move that machine, right, to puree it. I also added uh, two cubes of maggi. So now I'm going to puree it to very smooth consistency. I'm adding about a quarter cup of Priscilla's carrot infused oil. So here's how I'm cooking it. My technique today is simply, I took a, um, a kitchen towel and I placed it at the bottom of my pot. That's to insulate this bean, uh, the cooking process. It's kind of like an inverted uh, bean marine, all right? So now I'm going to uh, heavily grease that. You want to grease that, uh, your, your ramekins. In this case, I'm using two different ships. So I poured them to about three quarter full. You don't want it over full, right? Because it's going to fluff up. It's going to rise. So look what I did. So I added hot boiling water, you know, once I had uh, dropped the beans in there, cover with foil, and then I am covering again with the uh, cover. The idea here is going to go low, it's going to cook uh, to a very moist, very moist, moist, moist. That's what you want, all right? So here you go. I'm going to check just to show you. Some people add a lot of red bell pepper or colors or whatever. No, I'm going simple. Here you go. You see, the steam will cook this and you will never burn. It's going to cook perfect and very moist and delicious, I'm telling you all. So, at this point, I'm going to cover again and then I'm going to cook it for another 10 minutes. All together, I cooked for about 30 minutes. My name is Priscilla Yumeda and if this is your first time, please go ahead and subscribe. 30 minutes later, let me tell you, I started plating. Here we go. Did you see that? I dropped a boiled egg. In this case, I also added a little hint of whipped cream. Why not? So then I also added some custard. Custard and momo is classic of Nigerian cuisine. Here you go. So then I added a toasted uh, unsweetened coconut. When I tell you, this is like summer in my mouth. It's, it's kind of like tropical, you name it. It's delicious, moist, and just perfect for a good Saturday morning. Hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on all social media platforms. And if this is your first time, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in Priscilla's Kitchen.